welcome to my second Porto Portugal vlog. If you haven't watched the first one, I'll link it up here. Today I am going to explore more of the famous attractions here in the city as well as some hidden gems. I just did the Claragos Tower, which I'm probably saying wrong. So it's a church and tower that you can walk through and there's all these different religious um, artifacts and stuff and then you can go up the tower I honestly would not say that it was 100% worth it it was eight euros for adults I think five euro for kids and it's definitely only for able body people because I did not see an elevator that went all the way to the top and you have to walk hundreds of narrow stone stairs and <laughs> yes I was definitely out of breath by the time I got to the top if you do go I suggest going maybe as soon as they open or later in the day if you want some better light I didn't get there until about 10 they open at 9 and the light was a little too strong in the direction that I would have wanted to shoot overall though it's really great views of the city if you just want views and you don't really care about like the photography aspect but again eight euros maybe not worth it especially for climbing all the stairs or if you're claustrophobic because the stairs are really narrow and it's a two-way staircase so you kind of have to push through people at some points Next, I walked to the nearby Carmo Church, which has more of the iconic blue Azalejo tiles Porto is known for. We will see many more later in the video. This church was built in the mid 1700s and the tiles were added in 1912. I would have gone inside, but the three euro entry fee was cash only. So keep that in mind if you plan on visiting. I wandered a little and found this beautiful tiled street art on the side of a steak and shake restaurant. Later that afternoon, I came back to the area to visit La Varia Lello, the self-proclaimed most beautiful bookstore in the world and alleged inspiration for Hogwarts. I was iffy about adding this to the itinerary because it does cost 5 euros to go inside and it is always crowded. I really wanted to see it though so I kept my expectations in check and knew I would not get any amazing photos. You have to choose a time slot when you buy tickets ahead of time and I chose 3 o'clock hoping it would be a little less crowded later in the day but as you can see that was not the case. The bookstore was beautiful though. I loved the architecture and all the ornate carvings. The shop opened in 1881. Also the entrance ticket it does act as a coupon off the price of one book. Unfortunately, the book I wanted was out of stock, so I picked it up at another nearby bookstore. I'm gonna go pick up some food and call it a night, so I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Today's goal is to wander around the city and find some more of the blue tiles that Porto is known for. First up, I went to the train station and they have beautiful, like, giant murals that are really detailed. I'll go ahead and let voiceover Rachel give you some more information about that. The Sao Bento Railway Station is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that opened in 1916. There are over 20,000 Azulejo tiles depicting important scenes from Portuguese history. It is especially gorgeous when the sun shines through the windows. The Church of St. Anthony's Congregation is right next to the train station with another tiled facade. I kept walking and popped into this McDonald's that I had heard was really pretty, and it was. the Chapel of Souls now and this one is gorgeous because the entire outside is covered with the tiles. This one is free to go into but they're doing like a Valentine's Day mass or something it seems so I didn't go in. The Chapel of Souls was built in the 18th century and tiled in 1929 with religious scenes. It is a must-see Porto attraction. Next up is the Church of St. Ildefonso. The Gothic church was completed in 1739 and later tiled in 1932. If you want to see the inside, it costs just one euro. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Why is the city so steep? <laughs> my calves have been stretching my legs every day. <sighs> it's a workout. <laughs> Now I've come to the Portuguese Center of Photography, which is cool for a couple of reasons. One, it's free, and two, it's housed in an old prison. So I'm excited to walk around. Okay, the museum was pretty cool. They only had one gallery of photographs open, as far as I could tell, and it was like a childhood exhibit with different photos of children in the past i didn't take any footage of that but upstairs they had a ton of cameras a huge collection of hundreds of cameras any kind of camera you could really think of from really old like medium format cameras to spy cameras underwater cameras even toy cameras novelty cameras it was pretty cool i really like that especially the little miniature cameras that were only like an inch tall but were like actual working cameras so I really liked that. If you're into photography, I suggest checking it out, especially since it's free and there's also restrooms in there. So that's great if you need to go to the restroom and don't wanna have to pay. I would assume that they usually have other exhibits open, but that was the only one I saw was the children. So maybe they only have them open at different times. After the photography center, I grabbed my tripod with grand plans to photograph sunset over the river again like in my last video. Unfortunately, the spot I originally went to had good views but a bad vibe. I then walked all over both sides of the river trying to find a good viewpoint but ended up not even setting up the tripod. Anyway, let's flash forward to my last day in Portugal. Hey, it is my last day in Porto and I am definitely ready to go home i don't know how much i'm actually gonna vlog today because i'm just honestly not feeling like it i didn't even leave the apartment until almost two i've come to this park i'm just gonna hang out and then go back and pack and fly home tomorrow i kept hearing some roosters crowing and look there are chickens here there's also peacocks here too this actually like really lifted my spirits because if you know you know but i have pet chickens basically so <laughs> The male is up here, just watching over everything. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've seen a peacock before, but probably just, you know, at a zoo from a distance, not from like a foot away, but they're so cute. And the males have such vivid color, it's crazy. Okay, being in nature, even though it's just a city park, has definitely made me a lot happier. I was feeling really down this morning and last night a little bit too, but yeah, I saw some butterflies, there's so many flowers, and of course the peacocks, and there's a bunch of chickens. So yeah, I'm feeling kind of good now. <laughs> Okay, I found my third cluster of chickens. There's hens and roosters. Look at them all, they're so cute. And they're bantams, so they're super tiny and I'm, I'm obsessed, I'm so happy. Okay, this is one of my favorite places I've visited in Porto just because it's so peaceful and just so, it's such a beautiful day today too. It's like in the high 60s, so it feels really nice, really peaceful. All the bird life is just giving me life and I love it here. <laughs> There's also really great views of the city and the river from up here, especially from this random little stone tower. I 
like each section is more beautiful than the last. This place is so big and there's so many different areas. I love it. I wasn't really feeling it this morning. This really ended up being a great ending to my time here in Portugal. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I'm gonna walk 20 minutes back to my Airbnb and just get ready for my flight tomorrow morning. If you are not subscribed already, I would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down there. It's free and it really helps me out. Also like the video. And if you haven't watched any of the other videos on my channel, I have a lot of content from Barcelona, London, Iceland, Scotland, all over the US. I'd appreciate it if you check it out and I will see you next time. All right. Thanks for watching so much. Bye. Mm -hmm.